let's take some time to familiarize ourselves with the Teacher Workstation multi-touch screen itself. You'll notice that right now it is currently on, but if the screen was black, we would just simply have to touch the screen to activate it. It is now telling us to touch the screen to begin. When we touch, the first question and feature that you are asked is how much time will your class require? Note, once the system has turned off, it will take a few minutes for it to log back on. So ideally, you would like to set this timer for maybe an hour or two longer than the classroom session you are conducting. For our purposes, I am going to log on for two hours. As soon as I hit two hours, much of the equipment in the classroom is now going to become active. You will see on the projector, there is a green blinking light, and you just saw the image kind of slowly pop in through the lens. So now the projector has turned on and is going to project anything to the front of the classroom. My computer was currently on, so it, that is my current desktop screen. And if I take a step back, you will not notice that the smart board itself is projecting what was on my computer screen. So everything has turned on by that single touch of the button on the teacher station. If we go back to our teacher station, you will now notice several options on the device that you want to use. By having the computer button selected, highlighted in green, the projector is displaying whatever on my computer screen. You have the option of hooking in your own laptop if you prefer to bring in a laptop. There is a cord for you to utilize that will allow you to hook up and sync in your laptop. If I go back to computer so that it displays the computer image, there are a couple other pieces that I would like to show you. If you have a VCR, the old VHS tapes, by selecting VHS, the projector will now show any tape that you decided to put into your VHS video tape player. You'll notice, though, that all of the remote control features and functions of that VCR control are also on this teacher station. You may play, stop, rewind, forward, and so on. If I would like to get out of the VCR mode, I will hit the back button and then select the next feature. I'm going to go back to my computer so that up here on the screen it now shows whatever I'm doing on my computer. The DVD option plays in a very similar manner. I now have the menu, the option to eject or open the DVD player. I can search, forward, rewind, stop, pause, all of that stuff right from the control of this teacher station. If I choose to go back, I now have the options of what do I want my projector to display. You will notice it is now displaying the computer screen once again. The final option on here is called the document camera. We will illustrate the document camera in our next video so that you understand exactly how and what the document camera is used for.